Hi guys, in this video we will be looking at the multiplier effect, the multiplier ratio, and then we will be finishing off with a summary. Okay, so let's talk about the multiplier effect. And to start off our discussion of what the multiplier effect is, we're going to be saying that there is some money that is going to be spent in the economy. And who is spending that money? Well, that money is being spent by all of our economic agents. That could be our firms, our households, the government, all of them. And this expenditure is going to result in economic output increasing by more than the initial expenditure. So it seems a bit crazy that there's this multiplier effect on the output of the economy as a result of just one initial spending expenditure. So we're going to expand into this and unpack it a little bit because it is a bit confusing. So we're going to walk through an example. So let's imagine that the government increases its spending on new housing by 100 million pounds. And this is a form of government intervention as the government is now intervening into a market by spending within it. And that 100 million pounds is going to go into new housing. So they're spending in the market to result in some kind of production. Now for that production, the government will pay contractors to build the new housing. So the government would contract some workers or some sort of construction company to build the housing. And so the initial injection of 100 million pounds is being paid to the contractors or the company that the contractors are part of. And this causes an initial increase in aggregate demand in the economy because there is an increase in government spending. And one of the components of aggregate demand is government spending. Now the contractor is going to use some of the money to pay workers. So part of that hundred million pounds is going to be going towards our workers in the form of wages. So therefore part of that hundred million is paying workers and those laborers involved in the production of the new housing project. So we can see now that the government has paid the contractors the contractors are now paying the workers, so there is a chain that is forming as a result of that initial injection or that initial expenditure by the government. So now that the workers have this extra income, they're going to spend their income on consumer goods and services. So because they are working on the new housing project as a result of the government increasing their expenditure, they're going to be buying some goods and services in the market. This spending will then be an addition to national income. So remember that consumption is part of our aggregate demand or our GDP and therefore if our consumers are spending more or consuming more then this means our national income is increasing. So the spending by the workers would be an addition to our national income as the firms who the consumers buy the goods from would benefit from higher earnings and in turn they can spend that money on goods and services too. So the injection of new demand for goods and services into the circular flow of income stimulates further rounds of expenditure. And remember one part of our circular flow of income is the expenditure or consumption of goods and services which are produced by our firms. So what we are seeing as because there is this injection of the government spending which is going towards firms, they are employing the household's factors of production, the labour and paying some wage back and using the government spending they are increasing the output of goods and services and the households are now expending more and because they're expending more and consuming more firms are producing more goods and services and this keeps going back and forth as more output is produced. And this idea of this roll-on effect from this initial injection by the government is known as the multiplier effect. And the multiplier effect is the number of times a rise in income exceeds the rise in injections that caused it. So the multiplier effect can be caused by any of the injections into the circular flow of income. And remember what our different kinds of injections were. They were government spending, which we've talked about in this example of increasing housing, but any sort of government spending into infrastructure or benefit schemes will be an injection by the government. And then there's exports from the international market. And then there's investment, which will result in more productivity and therefore more output, which increases the national income. 
Okay, so now we're going to talk about the multiplier ratio. And when money is injected into the economy, this injection results in a national income increasing by more than the initial injection. So we talked about what our injections were. They are things that will increase the national income, such as government spending, investment, and exports. And if you increase that, then you are going to increase the national income by a shift in the aggregate demand. And we can quantify the multiplied effect on national income through the multiplier ratio. And the multiplier ratio is the ratio of a change in equilibrium real income to the autonomous change that brought it about. So what is the autonomous change? Well, the autonomous change is the injection into the circular flow. So that means that as soon as there's some sort of injection into our economy, that's going to shift aggregate demand, and that is described as a autonomous change. And therefore, we are going to experience a multiplier effect in our circular flow of income, where we are going to see consumption rising as people receive more income and they spend a proportion of that income to consume more things. And that leads to the multiplier effect, which we demonstrate the size of which through the multiplier ratio. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you're looking for an amazing A-level economics resource, join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the snap revised smiley face and together let's make A-level economics a walk in the park.